Britain's a nation of dog lovers. In 2015, there was an estimated 8.5 million dogs in the UK. Dogs have become more popular to have as a pet because of all the different choices of breeds and different services that are available to them. I own one dog, and um, is this here, is called Harvey. I've only ever owned one dog at a time. I've got one dog now, she's a Labradoodle, and I used to have a Kerry Blue Terrier, which we lost her a bit a year ago. Best part about owning a dog is the love that they give and the love that you can give to them, the cuddles. Um, and they're a constant companion. The worst part is going out in the bad weather. You have to walk them 365 days a year. Well, we walk him in the first thing in the morning, yeah. um, and then I tend to walk him last thing at night. Um, and his food's down all day, really. So he, he can go to his food whenever he needs to. Yeah, he doesn't really have set meal time. He's probably quite a spoiled dog, really. And then sometimes um, in the evening when I'm cooking tea, he has a chicken breast to himself as well. I spend about £28 a month on Jessie's food, which we have delivered to the house. So it's about £7 a week for food. And she doesn't really cost much more than that. She's, she doesn't go to the vets very often, only for um, worming tablets, uh, flea treatments, the usual regular kind of things. Um, when she's groomed, that costs about 30 to 40 pounds, but that's only once every couple of months. Well, you've never had a dog, I've never actually had a dog, no, I've had other cats. As a child, I had a Yorkshire Terrier called Rags. And when I was very young, called Chap. When I was at school uh, we had a Yorkshire Terrier, he was called Whiskey and he, uh, we had him from a puppy so we got him when he was eight weeks and he lived for 15 years. Um, I adopted a Kerry Blue Terrier called Gypsy. Um, she was 10 when I adopted her and she, we had her for three years. It's not always possible to be with your beloved dog all the time and leaving them at home for long periods of time can cause stress and anxiety. A good solution to this that many dog owners use is Doggy Daycare Centre, where their dogs can play and socialise till their heart's content. So typically your dog would arrive in the morning, we do allow drop-offs between 7 and 10, so there's a constant flow of dogs arriving in the morning. Um, and then at around about 10 o'clock the dogs get grouped so we um, decide who's going to be with who that day. We call them classrooms um, and we're called the teachers so a lot of it's based on school um, and that kind of principle. So we'll decide who goes with who um, based on energy levels and um, the dogs that day that are in and then from that point there on we'll start the activities so the mental, the physical, the sleep times. Um, around lunchtime we have a handover of staff so the team will um, get to know what dogs are in that day, um, any information that they might need to know. Um, we do also do feeding and things like that then. Um, and then the activities continue for the rest of the afternoon. And then last thing is um, getting them ready to go home. So we never send a dog home wet or dirty. So we do make sure that all the dogs are dry and clean before they get sent home. Although having a dog can be fun, they do come with a lot of responsibilities and veterinary care is one of them. Dogs are required to go to the vets at least six months for general checkups and boosters, which can be costly. So the best thing about being a vet is the fact that I don't have to sit behind a desk all day and I wouldn't have chosen to do that as a job. And the worst thing about being the vet can be um, dealing with people and their emotions. Obviously, you know, people are the, that are clients and the, the owners are the ones who pay the bill. So we have to factor them into the equation, not just think about the animal. So that can be really quite hard, finding out sometimes what people want us to do. The most common reason that dogs are brought in, um, probably vaccination as routine, but then vomiting and diarrhea have to be up there. It, we, yeah, it comes and runs, we see loads of it. Whilst most dogs are only pets, there are also working dogs. Sniffer dogs are one of the most common, working for the police, fire department or border security. Sniffer dogs require a lot of training and our services would not be as advanced as they are without having working dogs. My dog is Millie. Uh, she is a Springer Spaniel. She's seven years old. Um, her personality, she has, uh, she's very affectionate. She's also very soft. She doesn't like, she doesn't like anything that might hurt her. 
she's uh, a bit of a was really um, but she's actually an excellent search dog and to be honest she doesn't really need me she just does it all by herself uh, when I started working with Millie she was already trained uh, but what she what we do is we do it by ball reward so when they find a drug or the scent of a drug we give them a ball so therefore all the dogs have to be very ball driven uh, for my dog who's an active search dog it normally takes four weeks or 20 working days and then the license and provided they pass the license which is an assessment uh, they then are allowed to start searching